So here is a way that I have figured out how to repair uh, the Bose speakers out of my wife's 2016 uh, Mazda CX-5. Uh, as you can see, I've already got it out of the car, and uh, there are uh, several uh, Google searches you can do on how to get the door card off and how to remove the speakers, so uh, I won't go into that. But first, uh, a basic on how uh, these speakers work. I've got a typical normal speaker, so to speak. Uh, you can see the cone that moves. And underneath the cone, as you can see inside, is uh, the support inside the cone. Get a better view of it here. Inside there, that little rib section. And of course the magnet. And the voice coil is underneath here, and you've got your support that supports the whole speaker. So that's basically how they work. And on the bow speakers, they reversed a few items to get it to fit in the door. So this is the side you see when you pull the door card off, connector that your wiring connects to. The support cone, like this part here, is actually just inside this cover on it. But the magnet on a normal speaker, so to speak, is on the bottom. Whereas Bose has put them on this side. So when you turn the speaker over, this support right here, get that in the video, is actually right here. Now what happens on these typically over time, as the door gets shut so many times, this support gets pulled away from the frame here and as you can see it's being pulled away that should be attached to that frame so rather than going out and spending what a used one sixty eighty dollars to several hundred dollars for a new speaker I'll repair these this one came out of the passenger side door I've already repaired the driver's side on the driver's side door, since it gets open and closed so much, this whole surround was pulled away. Thus, without supporting it, the cone moves, but it, it's, it moves off center, which causes that, that crackling sound that you hear, the vibration sound. So this one is starting to go, and it's a pretty simple fix, really. You just need a little bit of patience. So what i've done is just get regular you know clear silicone sealant or glue so to speak um, it's flexible you know just just your standard sealant and a screwdriver so what we do what i'm going to do is get a little bit of this sealant and put it just inside here to glue this back to this frame. Now, if your whole surround is loose and you'll be able to see it shift from side to side, what you do is glue the whole thing, but be sure to allow it to come to its normal resting position, meaning you don't want it to be glued side to side. It will naturally come to a center position. Because if it's off on one side, it'll still make that crackling sound because the voice coil is rubbing inside the magnet. So luckily this one is not completely pulled away. It's still glued up here. You can push on it pretty good to make sure it's still attached, which this one is. So what I'm going to do is just glue the inside of this. So here, I'm going to put my phone video recorder on a little support I made. Hopefully, let me get it centered. There we go. So, take a little bit of this. Squeeze some out, hopefully. Let's try it this way. And 
that's looks pretty good. So you just grab a little bit, okay, and push it down a little and just get it inside there. You can put it on there pretty liberal. I mean, you know, you use quite a bit. Uh, if you happen to get some on the little rib section, usually it's okay. You want to try to keep from doing that, but uh, minimize that as much as possible. So let's push it down, stick a little bit in there. And we're just going to glue it back in there as best we can. Usually I'll scrape this. Put it as far as I can, maybe a little extra on where it's attached to help keep it from disengaging any further. Stick some on there. And this will take a little bit. Like I said, use some patience. Take your time. Stick quite a bit in there. Glue it. That. If you, uh, like I said, if you have a little extra, it'll push out. And keep going around. Okay. Again, this is a, it's a pretty cheap fix for. getting these speakers working again and, and really if this doesn't work you're not out anything I mean if it, if it continue if it, if it doesn't get aligned or or uh, you know you mess something up a little bit it, it's not going to make it sound any worse than it already does and you're only out a little bit of glue and a little bit of time and, and quite honestly uh, most people will have some silicone laying around or, you know, any kind of pliable glue will work. Uh, E6000, uh, uh, you know, pretty much any kind of silicone type based adhesive. Okay, clean that off and do a little cleanup work. Get some of that off of that, that rib there. Hopefully my hat wasn't in the video. So, that way it allows the, the little rib section to be able to move. Now, to get it, to make sure it stays, in, in, on my uh, the driver's side door, I had to do this all the way around. And what I do is I take some Close pins and put on there. And as you can see, there's a little bit of you know space. We've got a little piece there on the underside. Make sure you get on the other side of it. Just put it in there so it holds it up against that frame. And you want to use quite a few clothes pins. And again, if you, if you want to make sure you're right, just push on the center, just down a little bit. If you don't feel any uh, scraping resistance, you're centered. If it feels like it's scraping, then you may need to adjust, you know, your side to side to be sure and get that, that coil inside there that's centered inside that magnet, that magnet right there. So... I apologize for not being much of a, a videographer, but uh, I figure this might might help somebody in getting their uh, their speakers working again. You know, so there, push on it. I don't feel any scraping. You can see the cone move, right? And now you just let it dry. Um, preferably overnight. Um, typically since uh, this is in my wife's car and she has stuff to do, I'll let it sit for a couple hours. I'll put it in the car. Just make sure you don't turn on the stereo. 
um, and, and let it dry overnight. After overnight, this thing is uh, should be dry real good and uh, should be okay. Uh, I had good luck with uh, with uh, the driver's side, so I don't see any reason why this won't work. And again, you're not out anything, really. Just a little bit of time and a little bit of silicone adhesive or whatever you mean. Even goop, you know, that's goop adhesive. That stuff works. But this is what I had, you know, lying around. So hopefully uh, this will uh, save you a little bit of money, you know. And... Uh, uh, it sure did for me, so.